Hello again, um, it's Carl here from Sticky Sharp Tackle. Um, I want to go through with you from something I just touched on another video previously uh, about a Ronnie rig. Um, I don't know if anybody's out there like me, I can't be doing with the same rig as everybody else. Um, it just drives me nuts, I always like to play Tinker, Evolve things and wherever else. I love messing about with rigs. So it's nothing new, uh, you know, by any stretch of the imagination, but I just thought I'd just show you anyway. If anybody likes a little bit more movement or something a little bit different with the Ronnie rigs or so on, um, this might be up your street. A little bit more difficult to tie this one, a little bit more advanced, but uh, not a great deal more to it, but I'll show you anyway. So again, sticky sharp tackle, 5.6 curve hook. So we've got the hook, and we're gonna go for the size 11, quick change ring swivel. Again this is my preferred one because it's the smaller swivel out of the two. Just open it up a little bit so it's easier to get on the actual eye of the hook. Bit of a pain this but okay let's slide the actual hook over the quick change. There we go. Perfect. Right, again on this one, same as the last one, a nice little piece of string tube. I've kind of gone for, gone for the green hook, so a nice piece of green string tube. Just enough to go over the eye and to the bottom of the tube. Just cut that off. Nice little pot that is. So again, it's wet. The hook. Easy to go over it. Watch your fingers as you're pushing it around the back, over the shank, and then we're going to go down with that one. Just moisten the back a little bit, makes it a little bit easier to, to go down. Uh, I'm not going to go all the way down this time, I'm just going to say, say just over the eye. You'll see the reason why now. Now what we need, we're going to make a desection on the back of the Ronnie rig, which gives it a hell of a lot more movement. Um, so I want some nice stiff material. This is the SS Chod Hook Link. Lovely stuff, it's like a clear green, it's, it's, it's nice. Now this one, I'm going to do the whipping uh, knot again. So this time, you need to be whipping it so the hooks, it actually goes against the grain really. So we normally would go that way. <laughs> But with this one, we're actually going to go with the actual barber hook pointing your fingers. So we need to whip this on the shank. On that last little piece at the top end of the shank that we've got there. So, it's very awkward, but if you make the loop, so you've got your tag end sticking out at the back. It's nice to have a slightly bigger tag end, because this is the tag end that you're going to want to go back round with the D. So once you've got that, hold them both against the back of the actual shank of the hook. And you need to whip round once. So it goes completely round, and then you need to go backwards on itself four times. That's four times there. And then once you've got that held tight, hold it with your fingers and pull your tag end. That's it. So now we've got, you actually see there, it's on the back of the shanger hook now. So I'm now going to line this up so the actual tag end is coming off right in the middle of the actual shank of the hook up the back of the hook so it's hard to show really it makes sure it's all coming off in line put this up the back of the hook a bit more there wet the knot and what we need to do now is just tighten it down so maybe it's a good pull and like to see now it's still even coming off on an angle don't like that so try and Manipulate it so it comes off at the middle of the hook. Right, that's it. Now, what we need to do is nip off the tag end that goes down the shank because we don't need that. And again, we need to use the rig ring bait screw. So, let's grab them out of the packet. Slide one of them down the tag end. There we go, that's all on. Now, what we need to do is thread the actual tag end down the shrink tube. 
we're down, down the right at the back if we can. There we go. Now it's coming out the back there. And pull that. As you can see, just like that. So at the moment, what we need to do now is move that shrink tube back down to the bottom. Swirl back down to that, like the barrel of the swirl, if you like. Right that. So pull that down there. So it goes completely down. A little bit awkward sometimes, but we'll get there in the end. There you go. So now, you should have what looks like that. So again, I'll just, while I'm just talking and doing this, I'll put the kettle on. What we need to do now is, you need to establish the fact that your D, what you've got on the back, is right. Is It's the right size, shape, everything. That's pretty much perfect, to be honest with you. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to trim that off to about a centimetre below. So you should have that now. Sorry, let me just do it a lot better for you. Can you see that? There. So it just sticks out. Because what we're going to do, we're going to shrink it. Shrink the tubing. Sorry. Shrink the tubing down, and then we're going to blob this back so it basically won't go back through that shrink tube. It won't. It's just not going to happen. So wait for this kettle boil. And then a little bit tight. So, right, and like I say, gets a bit close to the fingers. So if, if you wish, just grab a pair of pliers. Should have done this a few minutes before, really, but nearly done. There we go. Right, so there we go. All down. All nice and tight at the bottom. Now all we need is a lighter. Okay, I'll still go. Okay, all we need now is a lighter at the bottom. Just bend that out a little bit there. And then the lobby. go and that now there's blob just like it's through an eye it won't come back up now that's it and if you can see that now you've got a lovely slightly more advanced Ronnie rig neat on the eye and I say try it in the margin it looks spot on What am I, it's actually what I'm using now, I've, I've actually got this exact rig on as we speak. Absolutely perfect. Can you see that? Very hard to, sorry I've got a bit of sunlight in your face. There we go. Absolutely bob on little rig. Sets lovely. Got full 360 spin. Got a lot more movement than the actual run itself. Perfect. Get your stuff ordered. StickySharpTackle.com and make one of these lovely rigs. You won't look back. StickySharpTackle.com. Get on it.